question. I love this question because we all start somewhere. Now, I want to tell you that I've been in business for about 15 years in this iteration of business, but my love for business started when I was very, very young, then took a major gap and then was reintroduced into my life because of necessity. So, I remember being introduced to business by my grandmother. My grandmother was a woman who just really knew what she wanted and what she needed to do. And she was able to overcome her own challenges and the challenges put upon her by the world and the society that she lived in and continue to persevere because she knew why she was doing what she was doing. And her why was her family, her children, her grandchildren. So she worked in a factory. She was a laborer. She worked three shifts. And then she also was a farmer. She grew our food. She grew more food than we needed because she was able to go to market and sell this food to other people. So she was very entrepreneurial. Watching her and being allowed to accompany her in every single step of what she was doing to then exchange the goods that she grew or made for money and to see how people were delighted by the products that she made or by the food that she grew. People really loved my grandmother and wanted her to show up on Thursday morning at the market with her products, with her produce, with the things that she grew and she made. That taught me something. It taught me something about resiliency, about the focus and the will, about the ability to connect with people and to bring something to them and give them something that would delight them and make their lives better. And I think that is where I learned that business is a force for good. That experience as a little girl of going to market after having gotten up at before the crack of dawn. I mean, before the sun even thought about getting up in the morning, we were up and it just taught me so much about why business, why entrepreneurship, why connection is a force for betterment and a force for good. So that is where it started. Then I got into school. My other side of the family was very academic, really very much uh, valued that idea of, of education. And so I needed to go to school and I became very much interested in academia. When I moved to the United States on my own as a young woman and then became a young mother and started my life here and was determined to make it happen, entrepreneurship became for me, that gateway, that access to a better life, not an easy life, not a prescribed one, but the opportunity to define success. And this is very important, the opportunity to go again and again. I failed so much. Oh my goodness. I failed so much, um, but I am so grateful for the ability to go again and for having had that opportunity. That is the one thing that I never ever want to take for granted and never ever want to forget. And I'm very grateful for that because I am very clear that unfortunately, even in a society that values business, almost values it too much and values entrepreneurship, that we are still not giving equal opportunity to everybody. And that is something that we must change. And I think that uh, the vehicle of professionalism and the vehicle of business and entrepreneurship can actually play a huge role in changing that and creating better opportunities and more opportunities for more people equally. So you asked how I started in business and I gave you a mouthful, but that is really why I feel so passionate in part about my work and about business and about persevering 
and doing the absolute most hardest best, giving it your best, always focusing on betterment, not just for yourself, but for other people around you. This is the core of why I do, this is my why. Anyway, cool question, thank you for asking.